Hey crafty crew, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, please subscribe and tap that bell for more crafty videos. Alright, welcome back to the second episode of Blast from the Past Crafts. Um, today we are going to be playing with sand art. Um, this one is from the company Melissa and Doug. Um, so it's created by me, sand art, sand art bottles. It's kind of a glare. So I'm not sure how long sand art has been around, um, but I definitely remember doing it when I was a kid um, in the 80s and 90s. Um, so I figured I would just go ahead and do this. Um, okay, so this kit um, contains three plastic bottles, three cork stoppers, eight colored sand packets, um, a sand scoop, a funnel, and a design tool. So I'm going to go ahead and open it and I'll show you what's in here. Okay, so I opened my kit and this is what it looks like on the inside. Um, I don't see any instructions in here other than on the back, but it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, so you have your little scooper. Your funnel. Um, there's three corks of the same size as this one. And then we have three bottles. This, this one, and this one. Okay, so and then we have um, our eight packets of sand. They're all different colors. So we've got red, orange, yellow, green, um, purple, pink, blue, and white. And then and then I guess this is the um, design tool to I guess push down the sand and the sides. So I'm going to go ahead and open up one of these and get started. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start with this little bottle. Um, you will need some scissors if you're going to be doing this to open your um, packets. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and pick, um, I want to do pink. Surprise, surprise. Actually, you know what, I might do um, white on the bottom. So obviously whatever color you uh, do first is going to end up on the bottom. So, okay, I guess I need my funnel. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm not sure what the scooper is for. Let me see if it says on here. Okay, it says what to do. Lay materials on a covered surface. Um, place the tip of the funnel in a bottle. Pour a layer of sand into the funnel using the sand scoop. Then repeat with color, other colors of sand. You use the design tool to push through a few layers of sand to make cool designs and mixed colors. When the bottle is filled to the top, tap slightly to settle the sand. Fill until tightly packed. Uh, cap tightly with cork and display. Repeat with other, other bottles. So it doesn't really say what the scoop is for, I guess. I don't know. I guess in case you don't want to use the funnel or if you want to scoop it into the funnel, but kind of pouring it from the bag into the funnel seems fine to me. So here is my little container with my funnel. It's kind of wobbly. I'm going to go ahead and pour some in here. You can see it's going on the bottom. I don't want to use... I'm just going to kind of make it level. I might put a little bit more Okay, that's good. All right, so I'm just going to set this in my container for now so I don't make a big mess with that. I have to find, figure out how to close these up. Okay, and then I think I'm going to go ahead and do my pink next. Cut this open. I'm going to pour it in the funnel. You can see my little design starting. It's kind of crooked. So I think that's enough pink for now. 
I'm gonna set the pink aside. Um, maybe I'll try some purple. I'm gonna do the purple. All right, so I used to do sand art as um, a kid, but I haven't done it in quite a while until now. So it's kind of like I'm doing it again all over again. I kind of like how it's ending up kind of crooked like that. Do you see? So I'm definitely not any kind of expert. I'm just kind of playing around with this. Um, thought it would be fun to do for a different type of video because um, I'm always doing tutorials. All right, and then let's see. I actually think I might just kind of stick to these three colors. Um, so I think I'm going to go back, maybe go back to the pink. So I'm going to do pink again in my little funnel on top of the purple. You can see. All right, then the white I'm just going to put on the top again. It's getting full my funnel is it's not funneling as well there we go so I'm just gonna pull it up to let it fall down I if I could add just a little more I don't know if, if, if I should fill it to the top it says fill it until it's tightly packed so I guess I can fill it to the top so I'm just gonna go ahead and put a little bit, bit more purple to fill it up which is already the funnel. You kind of got to move the funnel all the way to get it down in there. Okay, so I'm going to put that in there. As you can see, the funnel is not emptying. You're going to have to, I'm going to get this up here. Just kind of pull it up. Let it empty into the can. Ooh, I put too much in there. Into the container. Actually, I think it'll get it set in there to tap. There's still a little bit of room. Um, so there's that. I think it looks kind of cool as is just kind of like that um, but I'm gonna try out my design tool which honestly the shape of this I don't know I'll try it out and see but I feel like this should be um, like a thinner tool I'm not quite sure about this part I guess I could that's not even gonna fit in there so I guess it's just for the top I'm not sure um, it really doesn't have instructions um, so I'm gonna go ahead and you can, I mean, can kind of like slide it down the sides a little bit. Let's see. Let's see what I'm doing. I don't know if you can tell what I'm doing, but you kind of like make it at an angle to where the tool is kind of up against the edge because that's the part that you want to be manipulating, otherwise you won't be able to see it. Which I'm kind of making a mess with it because I'm not really watching but that's kind of what it's coming up with on this side like I said I don't really like the shape of this tool as much it's a little bit awkward for how small these bottles are I'm just kind of I know you can't see Kind of jamming it down there, kind of make little zigzags on this side, which is not turning out quite as much as I wanted. So this side, I might just do a little like that at the top. I guess you can always do it um, as you're pouring the sand in also, maybe like after each layer. Um, that probably would be easier. But like I said, I haven't done this in a long time, so I'm just kind of trying it out again. Um, and then you go ahead, let's see, you just cap it with the cork. And it's done. The white and the purple at the top kind of got all mixed together. here is my finished little sand art. Um, it didn't turn out quite the way I wanted. Um, the top kind of mixed together. But that's okay. It's still cute. Um, it's still pretty colors. Um, like I said, I haven't done this in a long time. This is kind of me just kind of 
you know, I have done this before, but it's been a long time. And like I said, um, for me personally, this tool was kind of an awkward tool to use in this um, bottle. Um, but let me know if you guys like the Blast from the Past crafts. Um, I think it's cool. I like to go back and do things I haven't done in a long time that I did when I was a kid. Or, you know, maybe crafts that um, maybe were popular in like the 60s or 70s and no one really, I mean, it's not really that popular anymore. Um, I'm willing to try whatever I'm capable of doing. Um, so let me know if you have any ideas. Um, thank you so much for watching. Um, please like, comment, subscribe, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.